Hello from Florida. Didn't have time to video some new colors before I put them in the store. So I'm in the store, the Comus Grove. This is um, cream over fog. I start with the fog and come about three quarters of the way up from the bottom and then the same thing with the cream from the top. These pieces I fired at cone five. When I put the same sort of color combination together at cone six, I get more of this bluish pink break. And another new color that I tried is gunmetal green. I got it in the powdered form and I mixed it to 1400 on my hydrometer. And for both the mugs and the utensil holder, I dipped them once and then dipped a second time on the top, maybe oh, halfway down. And it, it really does have a nice um, break and um, almost iridescent look to it. These lights are pretty good, actually. I think there's going to be lots of new pieces with this color combination. Notice the band-aid on my thumb. That's pretty typical for a potter, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, in both cases, when I did the cream over fog and when I did this gunmetal green, um, it's on white clay. I did some little loafers experimentation. And then the only other thing that was new is um, Med Mist with a little bit of iron red on the rim and then um, maybe an inch of cream. And I got a nice pull and a nice taupey gray gold dripping down into the dark blue. And in the sunlight or bright lights, a lot of this dark blue here looks almost like a bright ultramarine. I'll see if I can capture it. A little bit. You can sort of see it. It's been a long time since I've made any videos, just because I don't know why. <laughs> been busy. <laughs> so this is the Nokomis Grove display now. I did some more um, chinos with iron red and cream. I have a few pieces in here now with the um, iron red and spring green. The usual spring green over chino. Experimented a little bit with some frosted cherry inside the frosted turquoise. Kind of cool. Look at this. I've even expanded off into the other side. Some of their displays. As long as I didn't do it, that's okay, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, the store is only going to be open for maybe another month before it closes for the summer because it is a store that um, focuses on citrus. So I have another month to sell a lot of this and whatever I don't sell, then I will probably um, save for next season and or sell at the Venice Art Center or maybe the Venice Community Center. So this is my new favorite right there, man. And just because, Here's a quick look at the store. This is where everybody comes to buy all the fruits and have them shipped home. And then over here they have all these old-fashioned candies, all the stuff I remember when I was a kid. And then if you look way in the background, that's where they do a lot of the fruit manufacturing and cleaning and packing. It's a really cute little store. Thanks for watching. Bye.